Hey dear, welcome to your Shopify SEO optimization and Shopify store rank course. In this class, we are going to learn how to optimize your website to improve the speed. So basically, this tutorial is about how to increase the website speed. So I hope you will watch the full video because this class is very very important for you. First of all, we have to audit our website. So I am going to audit my website and in the website audit there are multiple tags but we are right now just focus on speed page speed. So going to open page speed inside Pingdom tools and GT matrix and here is the website URL. Here is the page speed inside. Enter my website link. Here is the page speed report. Our current speed is 14 second. Very bad. On desktop, 4 second plus. And we are going to learn what's making the too slow website. Here is the reduce initial server response time. Then reduce unused JavaScript. Then reduce unused CSS. And finally properly image size we have to work on the image size also okay so what is and how we can reduce initial server response time this is most important things so we are going to focus on here right now reducing the initial server response time means that you should lower your website times to first byte that is TTFB TTFB refers to the amount of time it a browser to create a connection to the server and to start downloading a web page content. Now we are going to learn how we can fix this issue. So we can fix this issue in two ways. So number one process when we start creating any theme we have to start from this case use custom code and don't use any third party or free theme this is number one process and second way is to use website speed optimization app from shopify app store so i'm going to use shopify page speed app for that you have to go to shopify app store apps.shopify.com and search speed booster and you will get a multiple app here and you have to select best app and that is fully free so i have selected three app right here page speed booster rt price free rating is good 400 plus review then booster page speed optimizer that is also good and i think that is best by review and rating and finally Repuru page speed it's very new there is no review no rating so i have to select anyone from both app so remove this one okay we are going to use the booster page speed optimizer and click on the add app install app okay here is the booster admin section or dashboard you have to click on the choose on to continue okay then click on the continue click on the freeview your store and come back we have done now i'm going to check my website again by page speed insight so this time I'm going to open incognito mode website audit page speed insight now it's better than before also looks in the desktop it looks good previous it was 36 on mobile 
and right now it is 44 on mobile but we can do more better just going to remove the pop-up we no need pop-up pop-up make our website always late to load so now we have two option one option is to remove all the minimum required app from our store to make it fast another keep app and keep our voice at a little bit slow but in the standard or in the limited time so i hope you understand so you can see that if i go to my admin panel and here is the app so i have added mega menu creator pro this app make a voice that is slow jasmine product review make a voice that is slow and also pop-up email and sms and email so overall there are five app or i think four app is not necessary right now to speed up a website so this is the main things to make a website a little bit low and if you want to make it speed up we have to remove them so i hope you understand also then we have to work on the image optimization let me check this again now you can see the updated result in, in mobile 44 percent and speed less than 10 second and in desktop 82 and speed 3 seconds on desktop is standard it's okay but in mobile we have to improve the speed so there are a lot of things that we have to do for example looks here reduce unused javascript for fairly size image reduce unused css serve image in the next gen format element render blocking resource redo initial server response type it is minimum right now we can ignore this one but we have to do other things one two three four five things or five checklist from here so i hope you understand everything very clearly and to make a website speed up we have to work long time and in a tutorials or in a short class or basically in a class like 30 minute 14 minute or one hours it's not possible to show you everything and keep the consult on the tutorials so i need more time make speed up this website so i hope you understand so you can try it by yourself most of store need speed optimization expert so you can contact with me for your website speed optimization or make your website azure friendly or speed up make it mobile friendly or a lot of things relevant to your website to rank on the search engine so thank you for your time to joining this class if you think this class is helpful then click on the like button and subscribe to my channel have a nice day bye bye hey there welcome to you in my youtube channel and i am faisal ahmed so if you're looking any shopify expert or digital marketer or website designer to make your website using wordpress shopify do the wix or any other space builder then you can contact with me also i'm working as a seo expert so you can consider me your next project i am available to start your project so if you need first delivery with high quality support or service then you can consider have a nice day bye bye